your eyes. Wizard of dark and dreary tidings, where shall I find the secrets, those ancient arcane legends of your defeat? Where shall my consolation lie at the end of another soulless day? What shall the bearer of tidings be, of hope, and the promise of a life lived in peace? In which dark tome of mystery shall I then seek the answer? Peering intently, I turn my gaze toward the heavens. One solitary violet star sapphire shines amidst a sky of black fur, dark as coal, and whispers my name. I search the minds of the masters who seek to tame the natural forces, but truth is not a natural force. I listen to the winds of change and also to the tides of time, but beauty is not among the winds or the tides. I hearken to the masters of eternal callings, the philosophies which shape the thoughts of men, but love does not dwell in philosophy. Solemnly I cast my gaze into the pool of water at my feet, and that same violet gem which graced the heavens cries out to me from a white mist of velvet fog, soft as the morning dew. As the sun sets meekly upon the darkening plain, my eyes seek the paths of gloom, straining in the darkness for questions unasked. I feel the answers calling to me, and yet do not realize that the answers are more important than the questions themselves. That the answers are real, the questions, only illusions. Puzzled, I wander in the garden paths all through the night. With the dawn breaking over my shoulder, a shadow catches my attention. As I peer down into its black depths, my gaze is averted by something similar amidst the down of white carnations. It is then that I see two purple irises, one among the shadows, and one in stark relief among the white flowers. At that moment the questions fade into the mists of the dawn, and I am left only with the answers to everything. It is then that I realize my quest does not belong to the earth or the skies but that I have all I will ever need in the beauty of your eyes.